So y'all, I don't know if Tony has shared this news with you, but we've gotten the sign. Yeah, the sign out front, which the, I noticed the, when I the got The Seattle sign, which if you live here, you know exactly what I'm fucking talking about. But if you don't, it's this big giant fucking sign that goes right in front of our house that says proposed land use auction because they're fucking demolishing our house. For three townhomes with no parking. No parking. Seven units. Zero parking. Yeah. Let me say that one more time. In Seattle, seven units. Zero parking. Yeah. There's already nowhere to fucking park on this street. No, it's absurd that they keep getting waivers for that crap. But anyway, you're here to escape the <laughs> disgusting realities of our reality, so let's plunge into this reality. Jane, yes. let's fuck it up. All right, we are trying to get back to the horse. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. horse. Hey, dude. Hey, hey bud. dude. Let's get the, let's get fuck up. Let's get fucked up. We're going to get back to where we were going, mm -hmm. and then... So who passed us on the horse? We don't actually know. I don't know. I don't think we know. We will probably find out at some point. Yeah. Yeah, so Ingersoll's Ordinary. Actually, it's got uh -huh. a cross. Maybe it's a hospital? No, I think it's uh, probably some... It's a, it's a boarding house of some kind. It's probably affiliated with the church. Oh. That's... I, th I do believe that is usually how it works. Ha! I'm yeah. learning. Yeah, give him some f motherfucking oats for his nighttime stroll. The shenanigans? Mm hmm Motherfucking oats on this motherfucking horse. Uh, okay. It's on, it's on the other side, right? Oh, I didn't... It's his locked, but we've got to open it. Oh, but I didn't back, grab right? the... I didn't... I didn't grab the... Dang it. Yeah, put this, put this, put this motherfucking saddle back. Hell you! I forgot to grab the bridle though. Yeah, that's okay. Grab him, grab him some oats while we're here. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Take care of this horse in one fell swoop. And fuck, I can feel the temperature in this room increasing with every passing second. Yeah. Here is some grain for you. There you go, motherfucker. Now give me your bridle. Yep. Yeah. I don't remember that thing. That sweet, shiny horse. Tis locked. Nah, tis not. There. All right, Everything let's is fuck as off. we left. Mm hmm. Creak. Nope, wrong way. Oh, yeah, we've got to give him the key back. You're right. Or. Just put the, just put the key down. Maybe. Maybe just open the door and then put the put the key inside. Maybe turn around and face the door, and then put the key down on the floor. God damn it, Jane! How did you drop the key? Oh, is it this? No, I don't think so. Maybe put it on the table. Whatever. Maybe we're just not gonna. Yeah, get it maybe back. just leave. I really should carry run uh, after that ride. Oh, uh, we've got to curry him. What the fuck does that mean, Jane? <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure. We've got to. I mean, I, we've got to. We've got to turn him into some curry. I actually do know, but oh. it's funnier to talk about eating him. I guess. Oh, we've got to like wash him down or whatever. I just use the brush. Yeah. It's a curry comb. Hmm. I see. Yeah. And what is its um, function in the curry making pro pro process? Thank you so much for being such a Thank great horse. Thank you so much. Nay. Mm -hmm. Good to see we agree you're a great horse. Mm -hmm. There you are. Mm -hmm. All ready for the night. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. So do I have to put the tools back? Mm -hmm. Like Probably. that would be smart. Yeah. If we don't want to get caught. I mean, we are. We stole the door opening thing a long time ago, so I don't think we need to worry about that. But apparently, we can't put it back. Oh, okay. It's ours now. Touched it. You bought it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now maybe we can slide the key under the door. I should put the key back yeah. in the <laughs> chamber so he doesn't miss. Yeah. The Thanks, I tried Jane. To do things out of we order, know. Apparently. Yeah. God forbid we fucking forget. We've got to curry the horse.
there. We're done. I was like, I want to read the note. No, nah, <laughs> we're not allowed. We've done what we need to do. She doesn't follow directions very well. She sure fucking doesn't, Jane. Creek. <gasps> Wait, what? Nothing. Oh, I was like, what? Just. <gasps> That's just, you know. Sneak, I'm just sneak. creating. I'm just the. I'm just going along atmosphere. with the atmosphere. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, which one of these is ours? That one. You just click, click, click until you get to the room. All right, let's get undressed. That's better. All All ready for bed. bed. Now go the fuck to sleep, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> A busy day. I should sleep well. Yes, with my curry comb and my chisel in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Oh, my glowing branch. All right, let's read Mom's ah, letter. The letter from Mama. 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 My dearest Jane, Boston is much improved over the stories I had heard about it some time ago from your cousins who had traveled here a few years ago. Your father's business dealings are going quite well, and it is now hoped we might have the opportunity to travel down the coast to New York. Your father believes there are also some shipping opportunities New there, York. and I would dearly love to see what New Amsterdam has become. I understand that much Dutch is still spoken in the region. I hope you and Bethia have had the opportunity to comfort the Bradburys and provide what assistance you may. In all cases, please make certain that Samuel Phipps has plans confirmed to bring you and Bethia back to Boston no later than the 25th. Papa and I both send our love, Mama. P.S. Mr. Danforth asked if you could pass along a message to Samuel. He wished that it be relayed rather specifically. Here is the message. A true cargo is needed to be transported no later than... We are day. smuggling. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it will spoil on the morrow. What a lovely letter. I am so glad to hear that things are going well with Father's business dealings. If everything goes as I expect, we should easily be back in Boston before the 25th. Okay. Excellent. Very good, Jane. Now let us see Gibbs dressed once today? more. Let's go with this uh, one. Will be very nice I guess we're gonna today. wear the green again. No, we don't have to. Perfect choice there. for a day like today. Blue. Perfect. Cool. Ready for the day. We're ready. Not that we're ever going to see our outfit. Apparently. Our body. Sadly. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. well the green matches the room. All right. And we're off. What sort of fucking mindless drivel will our friends have for us today? She's just gonna stand worried by the Morning, window this Jane. whole game. How are you this day? No, she's very, very well, well, thank, thank you, you, and oh, yourself. She's very well. Very well indeed. Did you speak with your grandfather last night? No. I did. Fuck and him. he has quite a number of new signatures on his petition on behalf of my grandmother. So I am very encouraged. Good. I'm so glad. I mean, Jane I so knows that you shouldn't be, that. but she's he gonna has a fucking lie. Judge Corwin the day after tomorrow to present his supplement to the original petition. He's oh, already shit. out this morning, following up on a few more signatures. Oh shit! That is exciting news. Great. Ah, here's Bathia. Good morning, everyone. Why are y'all wearing the same color as yesterday? Yeah. Yes. Y'all, we fucking changed up our routine. What Rebecca is doing. Unfortunately, she is still doing poorly. Oh, we have to go pick bayberries. While we were mm. making candles yesterday, I noticed that she was almost out of bayberry wax. I was thinking we might pick some bayberries, and then we could stop by and check on her while at the same time making some wax. That I is guess a that's what our daily idea. tasks are going to be. Yeah. Motherfucking candle weight making and berry picking. I <laughs> here in case my grandfather should need me. That is an excellent plan. I know just the place. Let's go. Great. We're gonna go off and pick bayber bayberries in the forest. Place, Thank you, Jane. That must be a bayberry there bush. So many bayberries. I'm not sure I've ever I seen bayberries. Me either. All right, let's 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 see what the pick like. This is going very well. Oh, oh this looks like this fungus. Is fucking weird. Or something. I'm so yeah. glad I came. All right. Bethia, do you know when your brother Samuel will return? He is supposed to return this evening, and I'm looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, those aren't excellent berries, are they? My mama wrote. I mean, I guess I they are. They're just fucking weird berries. From your grandfather for Samuel. That is good timing. I'm sure he'll be glad of the message. Mm. I see an even better bush. I'm going to move over there. Oh, Jamie's gonna get lost. 
and then we should have enough murdered and then witchified. You know it. This is always I mean, we're so already much fun. Pretty much witchifying these poor girls. Well. Yeah. There. Russell, Russell. Russell. It's the pig. Does anyone know it's the a skunk. Getting away from a skunk. I don't think there is a trick to it. You just back up slowly and then run. Because we have an extra berry picker. And he has black fur and a white stripe. <gasps> run! Run. Or you could just back away. I don't think I have ever run so fast. Me either. My legs feel like jelly. Somehow I managed yeah, to... Yeah, in my basket. It's in my magical Where's pocket. Jamie? Too, or at least most of them anyway. I'm glad we got here with all our baskets. And I'm not the one who has to walk back to the ordinary just now. I so agree with you. Now, if you will look in on Rebecca, I will Oh, we just left Janie, like, forever? An I guess so. Idea. She's fucking- the skunks in the woods fucking myrtleizing her. Shit. Alright, well, let's uh, do it. Okay. How do- oh, here we go. Here's our instructions. Maybe? No? no? We've gotta fucking figure this shit out all on our own? Nope, there we go. Oh. Bayberry is water. Okay. Easy. Well, we need that too. No? No. No, we're not making we need wax. candles. We're just making wax. No, but you need to to make Bayberry wax, you have to Who we knows, to Fiona? Fast. Well, we'll find out. Done. So many bur berries. It needs more water. It does. It does. There was water right next to it though, right? Well, yeah, but I cl it wasn't clickable. Uh, maybe we have to click, like, the ladle in the middle. Oh. Yeah. More! Oh. More! Oh. That's enough. No, we do it till Jane says it's enough. Water. Oh. It was just that enough to cover. Yep, yeah, that should do it. Okay. Clang. Now hang it over the fire. Yep. Now sure. all we have to do is let them boil for about ten minutes. Ten real life best minutes ten as we watch it. Yep. Watching a pot boil. Mm-hmm. What a game. Squeak. Alright, it's been now ten minutes, folks. Fire and let it cool. Yeah, we, we edited. Yeah. We we played a rousing game of wheel and hoop. Now that the or hoop and cool, stick, I should hoop say. Hoop and stick, yeah. Baby wax out and put it in the candle making box. Oh, it just, what? of course, it just comes to the top. Uh, so what? So much wax. Now how, we put it, how, put it in the, that? put it in the box, we Fiona, didn't, it's didn't fine. wax, though. It's fine. It just became wax. It's all good. She's got so much wax now. Now Rebecca has the bayberry wax she needs to make candles next week. Yeah. Rebecca is feeling a bit better. How is it going with the bayberries? Great. I already all did done. all the work. Yeah. Everything went smoothly. Bethia. <laughs> in Rebecca's candle making you bowl. fucking You are so quick. I don't know clay how you face do it. If you unhelpful to motherfucker. Doing, I will take care of everything here and Well, we up. left Janie to rot in the forest, I so Jane, Yeah, I, I guess. A good idea. I know Rebecca is very appreciative of you and I helping out. Oh, she, she us has a bonnet. given me these bonnets for you and I as a token of her appreciation. She says they may provide us protection in the dark. Oh. It's a, spe the a special I'll darkness bonnet. You can get every other bonnet I've ever had. It's got plus one to sneak. Well, I don't need to go in there. No, we gotta go find Janie. Wherever the fuck that uh, she is. She's in the front by the window, probably. Uh, yeah, in here. There she is. How She's is constantly raising her hands stay? to her face. She appears to be some better. Yes. But she does worry me. Oh, Did the bayberries make up much wax? Uh, well, we got it. was enough. an excellent harvest, an excellent harvest of bayberry, and now I am sure that Rebecca has now has enough bayberry wax, wax so for several <laughs> weeks of candle I making. Know you take some worry from Rebecca. It is, it a, is a difficult time, time for Rebecca. The mundane issue. She doesn't need to worry about the mundane issues. I know the feeling. It seems all I do is sit and worry. 
I wish there was some diversion to take my mind off things. Let us play some hoop and mills. stick, Janie. Would you like hoop to play hoop and mills? stick? I haven't played mill since I was a little girl. When Grandma insisted that I learn it's it, it's another said, name for hoop and stick. Is it Millburn? Oh God! You ever played that as a kid? No. Oh. This is an ancient game, and it's, it's supposed ancient. to protection from evil. Oh, it's a oh. We get all the protection from evil we can get. My great grandmama used to tell that the Celts had played mills since before the Four Islands. So we have to play this game not knowing how to play it. Uh huh. And the four cardinal directions. Click an empty dot on the board. There is so much tradition board. bound up in mills, and that is what makes it so charming. You have white, so you can move first. Okay. Click an empty dot on the board. Mm. Click an empty dot. Very astute move. I know why they call this Mills. I'm starting to feel like I'm being ground down. I have no idea what I'm doing, just so everyone knows. What to do now? Well, what? The outer something. Uh, uh. Select a piece to move on the board. Oh, okay. Uh. No, this piece cannot move to that dot. I don't... Maybe move it to the outer corners? I guess I have to move that here. Yeah. Nice game. That was fun. God, it was okay. so fun. Does anyone understand? If you know she what's going on, please too. comment. She, yeah. <laughs> it does help pass the time. And at the very least, it's helped drive some evil thoughts away. Evil thoughts. Evil evil thoughts. thoughts. Have you two had a good time playing? <laughs> yes, I'm it was right. so fun, I'm Bethia. expecting the, like, Bioware conversation thing where it's like, why? Dies. Yes, I had a uh -huh. great time. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I expect he should be here any time. Oh, oh there, there he is now. There he is. We what played timing. Mills for, like, 30 hours. Oh. Wait, did you just stick his hat on the wall? Yes, so turn to reveal an incredibly to handsome to man. The fair maids of Salem this evening. The fair maids. Well, indeed. We have had a very busy time while you. Isn't that your sister, dude? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we have cared for the sick, performed numerous charitable Oops. acts, and still had time for some magical experiences. Uh, shh, about the magic. But the <laughs> Indeed not. You have employed your time much better. Mine has been spent principally watching the south end of two <laughs> Samuel. Samuel. I do hope everything went well for you. Better than I expected. You look well. Did you have any encounters mm -hmm. with the Indians? That I mean, I get that it's a period piece, but I'm still not very comfortable yeah, with that. Yeah, me neither. I was willing to give the first time, like, so okay, it's uh, period, but... Eh. I, I almost forgot. forgot. My mama sent a letter mama. from the postscript from my Postscript. An actual postscript message. message. You read it for yourself. It's a secret yeah, message. This message pertains to a cargo we thought might need transporting this trip. I have to stay with my horses. It would be great help if all of you would come with me and we can make light work of it. We would be glad to help. You must be tired from your Don't journey. we have help we for that? We can meet you in the stable at once. We're going to go to the stable and we're going to have to do all of it ourselves. Yeah. No! Okay, ah! I'm not sure how much you have surmised about Oh, what we're we just going to talk in the stable instead of... Uh, oh, they're doing some secret plan thing yeah. and we're about to get clued in on it. Before there was Stepford Wives, there was Salem Wives, I guess. Or, I mean, they're not married, though, I guess. On the message to Jane, we have little time and must act tonight. I am not sure what this is all about. I do not wish to frighten you, but the message I have received from my grandfather informs me that you are to be charged with witchcraft tomorrow. I didn't imagine things could get worse, but if that were to happen, uh. I think it would be more than my grandfather's heart could take. My dear Janie, my grandfather and other good men are working to find a legal way to put an end to these trials. However, they need time. Yes, Miss True, and to buy them that time, the cargo I have been transporting mm -hmm. is principally those that are about to be caught up in the witchcraft trials. We are determined to stop these senseless deaths one way or another. But where would I go? And what about grandfather and grandmother? If you are arrested tomorrow, you can be of little aid yep, to so them. Yep, so you get to flee. We are yep. prepared to take you to my grandfather's land holdings west of here, which is named Framingham. I've heard of Framingham. But still, what of my grandmother? Well, by the way... I have obtained new information <laughs> concerning your grandmother. Yeah, God. I took the chance of riding to Judge Corwin's last night, 
and spoke with your grandmother by way of I a did all the shit to her locked room. Oh, how is she? She is holding up well considering the circumstances. That was a very dangerous undertaking. So dangerous, Jane. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely you necessary. You idiot. And that brings me to my next point. I have good reason to believe that the groom who was functioning as Mrs. Bradbury's jailer will be at the ship's tavern tomorrow evening. Yes. But what about Mr. Corwin and his family? His family is, his away, family in Boston, is away in Boston. So it should be the perfect opportunity Still don't know what he's using all that cake for. Mm-hmm. It is a very daring plan. But Maybe he wants work. everyone to, news is better to than think that his family's still here. Mm. Samuel, it all relies on your return. Yes, you better be here, Samuel. Yes, yeah, Samuel. This Don't fuck this up, work. dude. However, I will need to leave with Miss True as soon as I change these horses. But I will need to tell my grandfather what is happening. Don't <laughs> yeah, worry don't, about that. No, there's I none of that. Yeah, you're out, you're gone. Get, out, get out of here. Oh, God. Bethia, you are the robots. The robots. While you're readying the horses, I will run back in and collect Janie's clothing yes. and whatever else I can conveniently bring. Okay. My room is the next one past yours. God. Are you sure I shouldn't go and help you? No. no it is best that you, you should here. remain. If if you want to help us collect Janie's cloak, join us for the next episode. Speed packing simulator. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. We we have some experience with that. So subscribe to our channel if you like our videos, so you get notified when we get new ones. Oh hell yeah. And yeah. like, hit that, smash that motherfucking like button. <laughs> we also have a Patreon. It's there in the end card and then the video description. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Bye.